Hi guys, it's been just a day short of a month since I walked away from chemotherapy so I thought I'd give an update especially since that video did so well with 90,000 views as of this morning so since that time since I've walked away from chemo um, we've discovered that I have I'm not sure if I mentioned in the previous video but I have a nodule on my voice box which is why my voice is so hoarse all the time it has nothing to do with the treatment or anything like that um, I've managed to bring my daily steroid dexamethasone down to 2.25 milligrams and I'm doing the keto diet right now to help control any seizures and um, so the doses of the dexamethasone is actually low enough now that I'm making ketones and I tested positive for ketones over the last two days so I'm really glad because when I was up around five and higher I couldn't make ketones so it made it impossible to do a ketogenic diet when you can't do ketones and as far as a ketogenic diet I'm not convinced that it helps cancer at all but will help me lose some of this weight it's helping me lose a lot of the water the steroid put on uh, helping me with some of the edema I had and it's certainly helping me feel more clear thoughted more, like my thoughts are a little more clear and I have a little more energy and the uh, the past week I've had such great energy uh, Friday I said to my boss I said if it wasn't for my medical appointments I would have put in a 40 hour week this week and that would have been my first 40 hour week since uh, since the craniotomy uh, almost six months ago so um, so I'm doing really well um, behind me I'll just turn the camera you can see my strength bands hanging up so there's a workout I do with them uh, twice a day usually and I may or may not make them the background of this video depends if I feel like editing before I post this video if not on the next video I'll be a talking head up in the corner and I'll have my strength routine running while I uh, while I talk so I mean a lot of people wonder what I'm doing like the dexamethasone has a way of rotting your muscles and making your bones weak so the uh, the uh, antidote to that is daily strength routine so I've been doing daily strength routine I haven't been doing uh, a lot on the treadmill since I had a seizure on the treadmill but I'm gonna start again shortly um, I don't see a lot of risk as long as I use the safety gear I have I have a bike helmet I wear and I clip the magnetic stop to my shirt if I fall it just the treadmill just comes to a stop right away and I might just get like some sort of sleeve that goes over my knees and elbows because they got scraped up pretty good when I had the seizure on the treadmill so if I have all that probably if I had a seizure I'd be just fine there'd be no injury whatsoever and the one thing about being on the dexamethasone when you when you get a scab like that on your knee and elbow it just takes weeks and weeks to heal it just takes so long to heal it's just stupid uh, how long it takes so and the dex also does really weird stuff like it makes your skin thin like if I look you can look at my knuckles and you see that white areas I never had those before and if I'm looking at it from the top like you can really see the knuckle bones under the skin never in my life have my knuckles looked that way and that's because the steroid makes your your skin actually thinner so it really has a lot of impact the dexamethasone when you've been on it as long as I have um, so anyway I'm really glad that I made the decision I made right now at least for now my next scan MRI is July 14th and at that time we'll see if there's any regrowth or not and if there's not then I'm just gonna keep on going without therapy and um, if there is then we'll have some tough calls to make I guess so so for now I'm working basically full-time working out on my strength bands twice a day I try to go for a daily walk of about at least 0.8 miles which is a sort of a bigger block around my house or two laps of the little block so I try to do that every day but I can't always get that done um, because mostly because of the seizure I like it when my wife can come with me but uh, she can't always go so um, as far as things in the household um, because me and my wife we've been glued to each other basically handcuffed together since my first seizure because I gained all the weight on the steroid so when I have the seizure if I end up flat on my back my I'm too weak 
and I can't get air. My face turns blue and I need someone to roll me on my side. So if there's nobody here to do that, it's kind of a problem if I have a seizure. So, so now we got respite care 18 hours a week. She's able to leave the house where before it was only four hours a week. So that's really taken a lot of stress off her. And, and that's great because, I mean, as much as we love each other, when you have to spend every minute together for six months, I mean, sometimes you end up snapping at each other in that. So I'm really glad she's got that time. And uh, just being honest, I'm a little envious. I wish I could go out 18 hours a week just all by myself and do whatever I want. But my health is keeping me from that and not my wife. So I don't blame her for that. But I'm really glad she's able to do that. And I don't want to sound less than grateful for that. Um, also, I'm, I'm actually, it's nice to be feeling well enough that I can make plans like two or three weeks ahead and feel confident that I'll actually be able to make it. Because for six months, it's like, hey, uh, this thing's going on Monday. Can you guys make it? And I'd have to say, ask me Sunday night or Monday morning because I don't know how I'm going to be. But now it's pretty reliable that I'm, I'm up to pretty much anything. So that's nice. That's given me a quality of life I didn't have while I was doing the treatment. Um, I'm still on, you know, I'm on two seizure medications a day, but they don't really give me many side effects. Um, as the dexamethasone goes down, I get less muscle spasms, less shaky hands, more energy throughout the day. So I'm just looking forward to when I'm completely off them or down to such a small dose that it doesn't matter anymore because I mean there's a chance I might not be able to get off them if my adrenal gland doesn't turn back on I might be on these things for a long time but at least I can get down to what they call the physiological dose to where the uh, dose of the corticosteroids is pretty much equivalent to the amount of cortisone your body would produce anyway and um, so at that point it's just, you're just taking a pill once a day, not a lot of side effects at all. Um, but I have Cushing syndrome still that's not, that's starting to resolve. That's the puffiness you see around my neck. I have like some water built up near my shoulders, central obesity around my stomach. My arms and legs gotten thinner. It's class, all classic Cushing syndrome. And that's all from the steroids. So that all go away as I you know, get the steroid down and I continue uh, my keto diet. Like the, my keto diet has me shedding water pretty good and like swelling in my feet has gone down since I started it. And I've lost some weight and I certainly feel better. And uh, I log my food in my fitness pal pretty religiously. Like I weigh everything and I like to be very accurate about it because if you have ever done keto, you'll know it's very easy to, um, to sort of uh, go a little, what they call carb creep, where you go over the carb, carb count and your ketones shut down for a day or two. I don't want that. I just want those things to keep producing. Because uh, for me, I know I do very well on that type of diet. Um, the exception being if I'm on a ketogenic diet and I do hard workouts, I learned this in the past, and I, where I'm doing hard intervals, that will set off the... Uh, I mean, I have atrial fibrillation, but that will set off a lot of ectopic beats and possibly atrial fibrillation if I'm keto and doing those types of high interval workouts, which there's no way I can do right now anyway. I mean, I'm just at walking. That's that's my cardio right now. It's just walking. It's really all I can take. I mean, as far as my... St I get stronger every day. I do exercises based on things I have trouble doing in real life. So... For example, when I get in my truck, I have a very difficult time in the passenger side lifting my left leg and putting it in the truck. So I do exercises as part of my strength routine where I, I lift my left leg up as high as I can, like bending at the knee, and hold it there a few seconds. I do that with both legs, one or the other. And because when I'm tired, I feel unsteady when I walk, I do balance exercises where I balance on one leg for 20 to 30 seconds. Where, and the other leg I sort of move around and then I do the same with my with the other leg and just try to train my brain to be good at balance again so that I don't feel unbalanced when it's not justified so anyway 
Um, I've gone on a little bit. We're at the 10 minute mark here. And thank you for listening. And thank you all who joined and subscribed based on the last video. So for all you new people, this update is dedicated to you. And for all the people who uh, came in and supported my decision and said they understood, I much appreciate it. And the people who are leaving prayers, promising to pray for me, I much appreciate it. And then I have a whole group of people giving me uh, possible cures for cancer. I much appreciate it, but I honestly, I, I don't know if any of these things actually work. I'm reluctant to just add more stuff into my life right now. I'd rather just focus on my diet and my exercise. But I appreciate it all came from a good place. And uh, I thank you for that. So anyway, love to you all. This is your friend, Big Northern Bear, out.